Uh, in this video, we will um, show how to create a cloud-based uh, data logging and monitoring and analysis system. Uh, we will use Windows Azure as an example and the database system for the um, uh, measurement data will be stored in an SQL server which is located in uh, Windows Azure in the cloud. We will create a data logging application uh, in this case, we will use LabVIEW as an example, and we will use a monitoring application, and we will use Visual Studio and C Sharp as an example. So here you see a simple system overview. So we have a server with a database, and we have a data logging system. So in general, we could use a PC, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, etc., in order to create this system and then uh, log or retrieve values from one or more sensors and to store these values uh, in the cloud in a database. And then we can have another application, a data monitoring application. This could be a PC, a tablet, a smartphone, etc. So this um, application uh, retrieves data from the database in the cloud um, and can plot the values etc. So in our example we will uh, use an ordinary PC with the LabVIEW installed for the data logging system and we use a duct device that is measuring the temperature and then we will uh, retrieve the temperature values within the LabVIEW application and then we will store these values inside the database. And then the second application, the data monitoring application is we will use uh, Visual Studio and C Sharp as an example and here we will uh, show the data uh, with charts, uh, grid views, etc. The uh, data analysis will um, be executed on the server on, within SQL Server and here we will create some triggers and that do some analysis on the data. So first, a short overview of uh, cloud hosting and uh, cloud hosting services. I guess we have three major um, cloud hosting uh, systems today. We have uh, the Amazon Web Services, and we have the Google Cloud Platform, and then we have Windows Azure. In this example, we will use Windows Azure. So all these um, hosting services, uh, within these services, you can uh, create virtual machines, you can create web servers, you can create database systems, and all these are stored in the cloud. And you as a customer uh, can rent these services on a monthly, a monthly fee. Since we will use uh, Windows Azure in this example, we will give a short introduction to Windows Azure. So, as I told you, um, these cloud uh, services can store uh, databases, you can have virtual machines, you can have different cloud services, uh, web uh, applications, etc. And all these are stored in, in the clouds. And you have an easy uh, management tool that you can uh, get access to within your web browser where you can add new uh, databases, uh, web applications, etc. So here you see an example where I have created a new SQL Server database uh, within Microsoft Azure and these database are, the, are then running in the cloud. Here we see the database is up and running in the, in Windows Azure. So now we are ready to use this da database within our applications. So now we have uh, got the database within the cloud and then we are ready to, to implement the database for our system. We need to implement tables, uh, source, store procedures, triggers, etc. that we need in our applications. And then we can start creating the data logging application and the data monitoring application. 
So we will use uh, SQL Server Management Studio in order to connect to the database we have uh, uh, created in the cloud. And then we can use the Management Studio in order to implement tables, use stored procedures and triggers. Here you see the database we will use in this example. We will have a table with sensor types, a table with uh, the different sensors. In our example, we will just use one uh, temperature sensor. And then we have a table that is storing the measurement data. And we have a separate table that is storing some statistics information. And the analysis and uh, creation of these uh, data will be done in the cloud. And then in our monitoring application, we can get access to these uh, analysis data. So within uh, our local SQL Server Management Studio, we can easily uh, connect to the database we have created in the cloud. So we do it in the same way as we connect to local databases. And then we can easily uh, create tables and store procedures and triggers. In this case, we have inst inserted the necessary tables and the triggers you need, and also the store procedures and use. And then we can also run uh, queries to see the data within our tables. So we use a local uh, SQL Server Management Studio, but the data is stored in the cloud in this case. Then we will start to create the data logging application, which will use LabVIEW to create. So we will uh, retrieve uh, data from the temperature de device, and the data, data will then be stored within the SQL Server that is stored in the cloud in Windows Azure. And the analysis will be performed on the server using these triggers and stored procedures. So in this case, or in this example, the data logging application is very simple. It's just a, showing a chart of the data we are acquiring from the DAC device. And this data will then be stored in the database in the cloud. So here you see uh, the data logging application I have created in LabVIEW. So this is the front panel, the graphical user interface, where we, have, uh, we, where we plot the values from the DAC device, and then also showing the latest value within this uh, numeric control. So let's go to the code or the block diagram to see implementation. So in this case, uh, we are getting data from the DAC device using a DAC assistant, and then we are plotting the values within a waveform chart. Then, in this case, we are using uh, a database toolkit. So we start open the connection to the database, which is uh, located in the cloud. And then we use these, this function, the S SQL execute, in order to insert the data from the DAC device into the database. And in this case, we are used a stored procedure. And then, when you are finished logging data, clicking the stop button, the connection to the database in the cloud is, is then closed using the SQL close uh, function. So let's start running this application. You just click the run button. And then you see it's retrieving data from the DAC device. And these data are stored in the cloud. Let's open Visual Studio, uh, sorry, uh, open the SQL Server Management to see the data. So now I opened my uh, local SQL Server Management Studio and I have connected to the, my database in the cloud. And then I can run queries as, as the database was stored on my local computer. So I just type select from a measurement uh, data table like this. So 
So we just execute this query and you see data is stored in the database. I can run the query once more and you see for each time I run the query more records are added to the database from the data logging application. Next, we will uh, create a data monitoring application using Visual Studio and C Sharp. And this application will retrieve data from the database within the cloud. And then we will plot them, uh, show a two dimensional table with the uh, raw data. And then we'll also show some analysis data, uh, which is uh, calculated in the cloud. So here you see an overview of the data monitoring application. So we have uh, a database in Windows Azure in the cloud, and then we will retrieve data uh, using Visual Studio and C Sharp, and we will create an ordinary uh, Windows application in order to do that. Here we see a sketch of our graphical user interface for the data monitoring application. So we just plot the values that are stored in the database. We also uh, retrieve the data within this uh, data grid view and also show some uh, analysis data. So now I have opened the Visual Studio and here you see our application. So I used an ordinary chart uh, control I used a data grid view component and I just used some uh, ordinary text boxes to show the analysis data. And the data that we are going to show in the chart and in, the, in this grid view and in these text boxes are coming from the database that is stored in the cloud. So let's just start the application. Here we see the data that is stored in the cloud. And let's go back to our data logging application. And let's start this application once more. Now we are logging new data to the database in the cloud. And you see um, the data within this monitoring application are updated with uh, the latest data from the cloud. So the chart is updating, also getting new data in the data grid view. And the and analysis data also is continuously updated uh, from the cloud. So this example shows how easy there are to create a measurement system with a data logging application and a monitoring application uh, where the data are stored in the cloud and all the analysis, etc., also are done in the cloud. So far in uh, these examples, we have uh, we have a direct connection to the database that is stored in the cloud, but there are some prob problems with this solution because we need to enable the firewall uh, within the, uh, Windows Azure in order to to be able to connect to the database in the cloud, and since uh, we are uh, typically on a computer with an IP address that is uh, dynamic. Um, this, in general, this is not a, a good solution. So a better solution is to create and use uh, web services uh, instead of have a direct connection to the database. So normally uh, the clients or the monitoring application, which could be a tablet, smartphone, or an ordinary computer, normally they don't have direct access to the database because of the firewall and security settings. So the solution to this problem, problem is to use a web service, and then we can put the web service in the cloud uh, together with the database. Uh, and in this case, we could put it in the Windows Azure um, platform. And then from our clients, we could uh, connect to the web service because the web services uh, use ordinary HTTP protocol, like ordinary web pages. So there is no problem 
with the firewall and security se settings. And then this web service can connect to the database and retrieve data from the database and send the value we need to the clients. So using this approach, our system will uh, look like this. So we will have the same uh, data logging application that are retrieving data from the sensor, but instead of directly connect to the database, we will connect to the web service that are stored in the cloud. And then the web service uh, will do uh, calculations and uh, access to the data which is stored in the database. And then the clients and the data monitoring application that can then connect to this web service in order to, to get data from the database. And you can quite easily create these uh, web services uh, with uh, any kind of uh, programming languages. Uh, Visual Studio has built-in support for creating web services and then we can easily deploy uh, these uh, web services to Windows Azure so they are running in the cloud. So this is this was a short overview of how to create a cloud-based uh, data logging and monitoring system uh, where we have used in this case we have used uh, the cloud hosting services uh, Windows Azure and we have created applications both in LabVIEW and in Visual Studio. And the database was implemented in uh, Windows Azure in the cloud and we have used an SQL Server database.